Hi, I'm Nick Sharpentier, a solutions engineer with Great Bay Software. Today I'll be providing a brief demonstration on Great Bay Software's Beacon solution in regards to behavior monitoring, alerting, and max spoof detection. So we'll just jump into the Beacon user interface real quick. And as you notice here from previous discussions, we went over the whole visibility and real-time detection side of things, but we haven't talked about the alerting abilities when it comes to behavior monitoring, uh, detection of anomalous behaviors, things such as a max spoof attempt, or if there's something such as outbound FTP traffic that should be restricted, um, but if somebody tries to initiate a connection, we're going to show you how we can de detect that in real time, alert you on that, and then we could take some action ability around that as well. So if you notice the red lines here, you'll see these are alarms. If we scroll down, they're going to be things such as a rogue device being detected, or if somebody initiates an outbound FTP connection. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up a Windows VM and initiate an outbound FTP connection from that device and show you how the Beacon solution detects that in real time and alerts you on that. Go ahead and open an FTP connection. And then we'll try one more. And now we'll show you how the Beacon solution has detected the FTP connection and alerted in real time. So we'll go ahead and refresh the dashboard. And if we scroll down, we see right here, both outbound FTP connections have been detected. If we go ahead and click on that Windows device, we'll be able to jump into the profile data and see that the FTP communications were detected on June 14th, which is today, at 12.04 p.m. Central Time. Next, we'll move on to a different type of behavior analytics, such as a max spoof attempt. So let's just use a printer for an example. So you may have a printer out in your lobby or out in uh, you know, kind of a common area that people could walk by and just snap a picture of the serial number off the back of the printer. The serial number would also be the MAC address. So we're going to go ahead and grab a MAC address and show an example of what it would look like if somebody spoofed the MAC address of a printer on the network from a Windows machine. So I'm going to jump in, to, in here to the printers, grab the first example here, and we're just going to copy this MAC address and go ahead and spoof it from a Windows device. We're actually going to use the same one that we used last time for the FTP example. And all I'm going to do is paste the MAC address in here. We'll go ahead and delete the colons. And it's just as simple as copy and pasting this, changing the adapter properties, and then spoofing the MAC address. All right, so that's all you have to do to spoof the MAC address from a Windows machine. So now we're going to jump back to the Beacon interface and show you how we've been able to detect that in real time and alert on that. And then based on that, we could take some action ability, but we're going to save that for the next video. So we'll go ahead and give it just a couple more seconds for that uh, information to be populated. We're going to refresh the screen here. And what you should see is a jump up with a yellow line here showing a profile change. So right off the bat, you can see GBS Lexmark Printer went from that profile to the Windows profile. And if we jump into the Event Viewer, we're going to see Profile change, a max spoof has been detected. It's a critical alert. So this would be something that you could deliver off to a SIM device, such as Splunk or QRadar or SolarWinds, um, which could also fire off an email to alert a network admin. And additionally, you could take some active enforcement on it too. So we're going to see the time of, at, at which the event had occurred, the MAC address and MAC vendor for that device. But most importantly, we're going to see the profile that the device used to live in and what profile it's transitioned to. So please check out the next video to see Beacon Endpoint Enforcement. Thank you.